Tehelka and CNN IBN access is a letter written by Swami Asim Anand in which he expressed his desire to confess. The letter was given by the Swami to his brother. The letter was addressed to Indian, to the Indian and Pakistani presidents, but was never sent by his brother, and it is now seen as quote proof by some, including the investigating agencies, that the Swami's confession was voluntary and not under duress, as some of his lawyers were suggesting. RSS leader Asim Anand had written a letter to the President of India and uh, his Pakistani counterpart. Asim Anand explains his change of heart after meeting a Muslim boy who was falsely implicated in the Malikar blast, he says. We're quoting uh, from the access letter here. Asim Anand gave these letters to his brother, but these letters have not been received by either of the president's office. These letters were written by Asim Anand in his own handwriting, we are told, on the 20th of December 2010. Asim Anand's confession was recorded by the CBI on the 18th of December 2010. Fred National Bureau Chief Bupendra Chobe now joins us live. Bupen, uh, the crux of this letter and what it indicates is that the Swami Asiman and confessions were voluntary and not under duress as those who are close to him have claimed. What had happened was that last week after CNN and I been first showed these uh, uh, the confessional statement of Swami Asimanand which was recorded before the CBI along with the Helka, there were many who were close to Asimanand and elements within the Sangh Parivar who were arguing that actually this was not a confession which was made by Asimanand himself but this was a confession which was forcibly taken by Swami Asimanand. Now this letter which again the Helka and CNN and I been have managed to lay their hands on, this letter is dated on the 20th of December 2010. And what this letter now shows quite conclusively is that Swami Asimanan never really had a doubt on his mind, at least as far as all those revelations that he was making before the CBI. The two important points to underline here is that this is a letter which actually never reached the president's house. So it was only there with the brother of Asimanan. The investigators, we have been told, are aware of this fact that this letter was written, but this is not yet a part of the official case diary. It has not yet been made a part of the official court documents. When they will be made, will Asimanand also officially give a copy of these letters to the CBI? I think that's something which will be known within the next day or two. We spoke to the lawyer of Asimanand and asked him if now with these letters becoming public, he was willing to change his stand on the fact that the confession which Asimanand had made on the 18th of December were confessions which were made under duress. No such document, any letter has come on the court file. Because it, it is very premature to comment on this because after the putting of the Chalan by the NIA in this case, then we can only comment when the, these letters come on the record. He has been falsely implicated and uh, these all these statements are not his voluntary statements. He is saying this in general. 